what's going on everybody i uh i hope everybody's having an amazing day morning or evening night uh whatever uh you uh you find yourself doing when you watch this video um today i have a little bit of a gem that i want to share with everybody um the reason why i call it a gem is because it's it's such an inexpensive way uh, of doing this particular thing one of the hardest things about removing the cab obviously is uh is storing it the space i do not like dead space so i i just it just irks me to have space that is occupied and it's not useful when it can be useful so uh some of you guys know my last video i did remove the cab out of uh out of my my truck and uh and you know i i had it here kind of in, in in the front but i don't want to just have it out there i don't want it to be like an eyesore for the neighbors or anything like that and I would like to, you know, move it, have flexibility with it moving. So, you know, I've jumped in the internet. Um, obviously, there's tons of ways to create cab dollies, right? Some people create them out of steel. Uh, you know, they spend a bunch of money and create them out of steel. Uh, a lot of people, you know, do them out of wood. Um, so forth. There's many, many different ways of creating a cab dolly, correct? So, but if you just need something that works and is going to... Uh, be almost zero dollars and you know it's just meant for you to be able to move it in your garage or out of in and, in and out of your garage around your garage away from things to make space useful you know my dad is a truck driver so he's always you know in warehouses so he finds these things all over the place throwing away people want to throw them so he was able to give me a couple pallets right um like i said before uh i don't know in the previous video you guys see i had a couple pallets and I was able to create a cab dolly. Went to uh, to uh, Harbor Freight. I got me some caster wheels, two fixed in the rear, and uh, two uh, swivel that swivel for the front, so you can be able to maneuver it back and forth. And uh, and yeah, created a cab dolly, and I was able to move it back and forth because it'll it just sits right under where the where the be, or the floor of the cab is and it's pretty sturdy again you're not going to be working on this jinking on this or anything like that but it will help out with uh with you know moving it around so i think this is uh it's a uh it's a super easy way and you know inexpensive way of uh of moving your creating a cab dolly moving it around so just wanted to you know give out a little bit of like i said a little bit of a of a gem of what how, how i used it so i'm gonna set up the tripod so you guys can see how easy it is for it to be moved and there it is it fits i can move it this way that way maneuver it it's super easy and again those pallets do carry a ton of weight so you know four or five six hundred pounds is just it's it'll be perfect for those kind of pallets so there it is um 